Hello everyone, I'm back. This is Kixie, and this is my second episode. So, uh, let's get right into it. Right now, I think I have to harvest wood for the fences. And then we should be on our way. Oh, I have to figure out how to get across. But, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. I hope that this is recording because my mic's been acting a little weird. I, like, I caught it about four times now where it says that there's no mic plugged in. But I've changed it and it somehow it keeps forgetting that I have a mic. So let's hope that it could hear and that it all works. <laughs> uh, so today, I'm not sure what we need to do. I was thinking of putting up the fence, but the fence is going to take a while, and it's, I'm going to have to collect a lot of resources for it, so I might just do that off camera or speed it up and record it still. Uh, not sure yet. Actually, I'm not sure if I can speed it up. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so I might just cut some of the wood cutting part out. So I might uh, delay that for a little bit. Other things I have to do is level off the pathway, but I probably want the fence up for that. Uh, what else? There's so much things to do right at the beginning, but it's all like long, tedious stuff. Not something you could do really fast. I'm trying to think. What? Oh. Uh, no one deal. If you see me do those, what it does is it keeps it from getting giant trees like this. And it also makes it where all the trees look just like that one. And it's really nice. They're not supposed to be able to even touch the dirt block. They're supposed to grow one below. But sometimes they grow into it. They might have changed the mechanics. It's kind of odd. But, oh well. Okay, um, I think I got everything, oh, no, right here, these big trees are just so annoying, so many things here, there we go, last one, hopefully the last one, wait, that side's not disintegrating, oh man, there must be one more right here. Or it's disintegrated. Oh no. Oh well. Um. What to do? Let's get that down. <laughs> I was thinking of getting rid of a couple of the wheat farms, but I'm not sure. I might keep them around. If I trade, you're not supposed to be able to trade over three times with a villager. Is, I believe, is what it is. But if you have all the resources, the trade doesn't go away until you exit the trading screen. So he will trade with us until we leave. So if I get my whole entire inventory full of wheat eventually, which I should get some now while it's grown. But if I get my whole entire inventory full of wheat, then I can trade with him repeatedly and probably get like 20 or 30 emeralds off of him. And also it'll unlock more traits through him. So that'll help out too. Uh, thought, I think they're over here. I was like, I thought I saw some. Oh, also I need to find a jungle biome. I was testing out a couple things on the single player world. And I started a server with my friends. And, uh, it made it, or I figured out that cookie beans, since they're so rare, everybody said that cookies were so horrible. But then I was thinking of it, uh, a piece of bread heals three to four hearts, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. And that's three wheat. But if you have three wheat and cocoa beans, which are, like, not rare at all anymore, because you can find them anywhere in the jungle, then if you combine two wheat, which is less wheat, 
and one cocoa bean, you can get eight cookies, which each cookie heals one heart, so that's eight hearts. So, pretty much what I'm saying is cookies are actually one of the best food sources out there. People just didn't realize it because cocoa beans you'd find in dungeons and they were the most impossible things to find. So mostly they were just collectible items that they didn't care about making food off of it. You wouldn't want to waste like a golden record just to be able to eat. <laughs> Which kind of sounds weird but yeah. It's almost like that. So now that they're not rare, what I do is I put one piece of whatever I want, then a log on top of it, and then you just hang a bunch of cocoa beans off that log, and you get a cocoa bean farm. Uh, I haven't tested it out. I wonder if cocoa beans react to water brushing against them. Because if so, oh, that's weird. Uh, if so, I could make it where like a water dispenses on top of them and then it would be like a cocoa bean farm but I haven't tried that yet I should do that maybe once I get pistons and things like that oh and I need to get slime finder again I only use a couple mods and one of them is slime finder because it's annoying doing the math and calculating what chunks areas are what because you just have to divide the number that you have by 16 then figure out where the edge of the chunk is but it's just way too annoying so what I do is I just get this thing called slime finder I find a chunk and then it's not that easy because you have to find the chunk and then you have to dig the biggest uh, the biggest mine shaft that you could ever imagine just to get slimes to f like spawn in it oh I forgot wow that sucks at least it was daytime <laughs> but uh oh, what was I saying yeah slime chunks it still requires a lot of digging a lot of materials to get down to it and other things like that so I don't find it too much of cheating to find the slime chunks. Ah, wrong one. Okay, but yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And another mod I use is Too Many Items, but I don't use that when I'm doing survival mode. I use it on my Redstone Test World. Because I used to not like creative. I like it better now. But I still like too many items. Because I could use all the controls. Like set daytime. Set night. Turn off rain. Because rain makes a lot of noise. Uh, which. Oh, changed a bunch of my settings. Keep forgetting. But yeah. Rain makes a lot of noise. So you have to make sure that that shut off. Oh, I need to make uh, farms too. Just saw those pigs over there. Let's see, 16. Uh, let me go put the spider eye down here. I need to start sorting things. Wait, did I add a treasure chest? That's weird. Oh, they're right here. I only have three. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's like I'm missing one. Okay. So let me go set up a little storage area. Oh, I can make these my storage areas. Okay, this one will be potion crafting. Which, I believe that's it for right now. Um, oh, forgot about that. Wow, they didn't change the hitboxes on these. They need to make the hitboxes like skin tight for those. Because uh, I've been noticing that some of the hitboxes are a lot better. 
like stairs are actually stairs because before you used to not be able to reach something in the back of it oh. but now I made it where like I have two stairs and then a workbench in the corner of it and something on top and you could actually still use it so that's pretty nice I thought I had a diff uh, another one of those down here but I guess not wait if there's entrance here then there must be one right here oh yeah there it is that was weird that was like Zelda started playing that uh, started playing cave music right when I reached it okay uh, what to do I got all the wood so I could come with that. Didn't get much of those. Not enough for fences. Well, I could get started on the someday. Okay. Um. There we go. There we go. And I got some left over for tools. Wait, did I just drop? Oh, wow. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I did this before. Oh, man. Really? Wow. That just sucks. Oh, um, well, I guess I can make a mine shaft straight down now. Usually I make them diagonal, but actually, ladders are better because it still takes the same distance, and it's going to be a while until I make a boat elevator. So, I guess that's a good idea. It still sucks, though. Um, really? I have no birch saplings? That's weird. Where? Huh. Thought I saw some fall before. It's really weird. Oh well. Uh so I'm thinking of getting rid of this house. Maybe this farm. Just because it's way far out here. And this is my house for now. So I can make it like dead end right here and it goes right into my house. So yeah, I should get him out. Come on, guy. Maybe if I break the door, he'll want out. Come on. Come this way. Good. Um. Let's see. Wait, where'd he go off to? Come on. They really don't like to follow at all. I wish they made something that made them follow, like, gems. Because it's like a uh, wheat with animals. You could take them wherever you want. And it's weird having the game run on a server now. It's really odd. Don't you dare. Come out. Come on, guy. Yes, go this way. You're almost there. You're almost there. No. No. Come on, really? Really? Come on, guys. Get in there. No, not you two. Man, all the villagers want to come outside. Or want to come outside of their boundaries. Come on, get up there. That game passed. 
Might as well jump up. Really, you just gotta sit there and refuse. Where? Oh, there's the other guy. Really, villagers? Might have to stop. This will take way too long. Come on, guy. Just jump up. Jump up. It's not that hard. You can do it. Really? Now you. Come on. R really? Forgot that this was a fence. Dang it, you guys. Okay, you are going right over here. And I have no half slabs. Come on, you know you went up here. Yeah, guys, I'll be right back. They're gonna take way too long. And I'm back. So I got them in, and I thought since I was already off camera, I would collect wood. So I got quite a bit. And also, uh, I was about to make part of my tree farm right now, just to get part of it out of the way. Uh, all I do is I do half slabs around the trees and then build main walkways with torches. But why I do half slabs is because I, well, I thought they changed it, but I'm not sure. But you're not supposed to be able to have monsters spawn on the half slabs. So hopefully it still works, but I don't know. And I'm debating, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff with stairs lately, and, uh, here I'll do a quick draw, or a quick mock-up. I think I know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm not sure. Oh, I have no slots. There we go. Okay, as, wait, there they are. I was thinking something like the walkway should be lower because the trees sometimes grow really low and makes it where your head hits the tree. And uh, as the being about four apart or five apart, because if I do five apart, it looks like this, and the walkways will. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. I like it, but sometimes it gets annoying. So it looked like this, something like that, which I kind of like because you don't hit the bumps too often. You could easily walk down, but my other option was to make it um, four by f four wide, like this. But this walkway is a little narrow. You hit the bumps too much, so I think the wide version is good enough or good to go with. So I, I'm just going to be doing this grid all throughout it. Go work on it like probably once an episode and just kind of go through it. Can't stand when there's empty blocks. Um, so oh, I need to go sleep actually. Let me go do that and then I was going to work on the fence a little bit and I think that would be about it for this episode. So let me sleep. Okay. So now we need to go put down the fences. And usually what I like to do is make it 
uh, three blocks off of the furthest object in the game. Oh man, I'm really low on inventory. Uh, really low. <laughs> Okay, maybe I should just toss stuff out for now. Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay, but, uh, I was saying I like to build my objects, or my fences, three away from the furthest object sticking out in the village. So that would be this building. So it'd be one, two, three, right there. Then, oh man, I have to terraform quite a bit. Like you can see right next to me, there's just random holes. Okay. Uh, then I'll torch up the place, and hopefully no zombies spawn inside. I'll suck if I just one day find all my villagers dead. And if you're wondering why I overlap like this, it connects it and it also keeps the villagers. They like to walk sideways and somehow they find a way over. Like if I do this, they could just walk over. Sometimes I double, but usually not too much. Okay, I think over here, it's the... Uh, blacksmith that's that's uh the furthest out I'm not sure let's check wait oh yeah no way ah, stupid weeds oh it's that house oh and the wheat farm wow uh what did you Ooh, actually, I could probably go straight across the wheat farm. Because it's... One, two, three. Right here. Perfect. Okay, I need to get rid of this hill. There's no reason for it to be here. That's all I need to do right there. Um, man. Oh, I have my other stack. I forgot. For some reason, I thought I was out. I don't know why. if zombies will find their way over this or not. I'm kind of worried they will. Oh man, these weeds are just so annoying. Okay. Once these are connected, I could get quite a bit of my uh, old fences back that should help with building more of this really just build okay so now we have plenty of room to walk around the village 
and it looks like no zombies could get in. Uh, should get some of this wheat. I guess I forgot about this one. I thought I got it. But who knows? Um, okay. So, that's connected there. So I just need to get up here. Go as far as I can. Boom. Okay, that I probably will build to because and not cut it out because I want to expand the village later. But for now, I will just close this part off right here so no villagers can escape, and I could get all this right here back. There we go. Okay, let's check the perimeter to make sure. Man, my dogs are edgy today. Uh, let's make sure no villagers can escape with that. That's never good. Uh, what else? Oh! Big one right here. Started it, but I forgot to cap it. Um, you guys better not rush me. Don't you dare. Stay. I hate when they just like charge after you. You're like, no, let me build this. Okay, got it done. Uh, so that goes all the way around so I could get rid of all these ones wait really want me to cut you? Um, I use a lot of logs over here could roam all the way around. I remember when I was in my single player world, I did this oh, wow they could have jumped over that. But I did this in my single player world for a little bit and the first night I think I punched a couple sheep and got a hole and I had to do a perfect square all the way around the village. I never thought about connecting the buildings. Especially because it was a square village, or it was like a huge one. But it's pretty nice just connecting them. Then you don't have to worry about them escaping or something like that. So let me go. Uh, I have to go calculate this one. Oh, really? I'm not full. Oh. Because I got extra seeds. I don't want those. Wow, that's quite a bit of emeralds. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, one over. <laughs> Is it just one? Yeah, I'll just leave that. I'm not sure if I should do it yet. Because there's. I still need it a lot. Okay, so I have one, two, three right there. 
which goes across the back again. That's weird. All of them like to do that. I'm the Sun City. Uh, let me rush through this real fast. Connected. Okay. So all this is. Oh, that's not safe. That. That's all good. And. Okay, that's a pretty far distance, so I can't connect it. But I guess next episode. I have to do the whole entire other side. I just did a whole quarter, or a half of it. So I have some in the village, so maybe I could do part of it at night so villagers don't scatter everywhere. So you really like doing that. Okay, let me jump in bed. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how many emeralds that is. Oh wait, it's only six emeralds. Wow. Well, I guess that's it for my second episode. See you guys next time.